Anti-racism is a verb. It is an action. It's something we do for ourselves and for others. Anti-racism is a lived experience. An anti-racist society is one in which no race or racial identity is considered greater than another. It is creating an environment equipped with the freedom and ability to tell one's truth, uninhibited by fear of labeling and dire consequences. So often black and brown students have been asked to bend who they are in order to fit in our idea of what school is. And I believe creating a space where that is not the case is the first step. It is about systematically dismantling policies as well as mindsets. Being an anti-racist educator requires proactive tactics and measures against non-inclusive curriculums and policies. Anti-racism requires everyone to do the work. It means going into spaces that are safe for you and those who are unlike you and asking questions. And address systemic racism and policies that have occurred for generations. Live in an understanding that being anti-racist is not inherent, but a learn and apply practice. Anti-racism work has to begin by holding up a mirror and taking a hard look at your own biases. I regularly seek feedback from my students, my colleagues, and my administrators in order to figure out what my biases might be. School leaders at Ron Brown confront the school to prison pipeline by providing us the space and the tools to reflect on our identity, our biases, our privileges, and our experiences so that we can intentionally create a system of change. I've been able to showcase videos and create online activities to help students become aware of how everyday lives have been impacted and influenced by other cultures. Those in special education are disproportionately African-American and Hispanic. And if we are truly going to be a system that is anti-racist, we need to look deeply at our policies and practices around how we support those with special needs. Each child will receive the tools and resources necessary for their success, academically, physically, and emotionally, regardless of their racial background, how they may identify, or where they reside throughout our great district. If we meet the needs of those who exist within the margins of the margins that need the most support, then we're able to ultimately meet the needs of everyone. I aspire to see that the district create deliberate, diverse elementary schools with equally balanced population of race and socioeconomic status for the students and equally balanced staff. Proactively work to close the achievement gap across all eight wards. To build safe and accountable spaces for teachers across the district to engage in courageous conversations about anti-racism and equity. I aspire to see DC Public Schools as the top training ground for anti-racist education in the country. As we collectively continue to strive towards equity, I'm most excited about elevating student voice. My students are inquisitive, persistent, innovative, and passionate about seeing a greater tomorrow for themselves and their community. Equity requires us to do our part when no one is watching, but also to collectively come together to change our practices and transform organizations that help us live and breathe our truth, and to live freely to see it through to fruition where every student can get the quality education that they deserve.